I'm not saying it was aliens, but aliens. <laughs> Bits. <laughs> Welcome back, hobby maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and today we're going to take a look at Gamers Grass new Alien Tufts at a price point I think a lot of us can really appreciate. Jumping over to GamersGrass.com, they just sent us some sets of these Alien Tufts to check out. There's uh, actually not too many of them. There's only five sets, but they are. While they might not be many in variants, they are super amazingly poppy and bright and they will definitely make any base or any paint job look a hundred times better once you put these things on the base, I guarantee. So four millimeter tufts, I know that doesn't mean anything to us stupid Americans, but they're actually pretty respectable size and I'll show you here in a second. Uh, Five dollars and you get 70 pieces on the little sheet here, which I feel like is a pretty good value, like I said. Here's a better look at the sheet that you get, and there's 70 of these bad boys on here, and you can see about 70 tufts per sheet. So you can order them from gamersgrass.com, or you can check out their find a local store locator right here and see if there's any near you. I was actually in Atlanta and at Gigabytes Cafe. Oh, there's apparently there's a hobby town with them too. Here in America, I was able to uh, see pretty much the whole line that they had in stock. So that was kind of neat. But if you need a big number of them, you might just have to mail order them out of over here, in Portugal, and across the ocean, or maybe like this into the past. So here's the colors all laid out, and I pulled them out of their packages to, to show you, and I already used some of them because I wanted to see just how easy they were, just as easy as the last set of Tufts here. They do come in the packaging, so if you're a retailer and you wanna scoop these up, they have UPCs, they have SKU numbers, everything's good to go right there. And they do have you know wholesale terms, so definitely hit them up to see about stocking them in your store. I mean, at five bucks each, I feel like you can't go wrong with these crazy colors. And they have all sorts of other tough sets, and um, not quite as bright tough colors too. So check those out. We've done a video on them in the past. I'll probably link it up somewhere around in here or in the description uh, there as well. So these don't look quite as bright and as poppy as you would imagine, but once I pull them, <laughs> you can see it right there. There it is when the light hits it. They are super, super bright. I love these things right here. They are great. Look at that. It's like almost like icicles. This one's called fire, I think. And I love, this is probably my favorite right here. And then they've got a turquoise as well too. And like I said, they've got a bunch, there's like 70 pieces on here for five bucks. I don't know. I think you'd be hard pressed to kind of uh, beat that value anywhere else out there. I feel like. So how easy is it to actually attach it? Well, you can do it one of two different ways. So the first way, well, pretty much both ways, uh, involve tweezers, because it's just super helpful just to have some tweezers. These are super pointy ones from Army Painter. They work pretty well. You just grab one of their uh, tufts off your here and kind of push back with the, the backing front with your finger. And then you literally, it has uh, sticky stuff, we'll call it sticky stuff, and it will affix to any base that you want but if that's worrisome for you and you're like i don't trust it maybe it'll fall off after five years unfortunately i haven't been reviewing their stuff for five years only about six months or so and the tufts that i used are still on my miniature so i can tell you at least the least last six months but if you want to use some glue which i use both actually on that particular base uh, that i was talking about from six months ago you can you just grab a little uh, elmer's white glue right like this and dab your base, dab into there, and then just affix it to whatever fancy location you want on your base right there, and you get the super poppy, ridiculous looking alien tufts on whatever base you might need. Now, I went a little ham with them. Uh, I love these things, they're, they're very, very colorful. I uh, did up a demon base right here with one of each color just to, so you can kind of see. The blue one's a little tougher to see because it's a blue base, but the fire looks great. Uh, that purple looks amazing. This, I don't I actually don't know what that color is actually called, but uh, I feel like I should know. And where's the turquoise? The turquoise kind of hides, so you have to put it on lighter areas. It doesn't look good on darker, but that definitely gives you an idea of just how ridiculous you can get. I feel like the, the clear winner is that that pink or purple right there. But if you're doing Death Watch or Tyranids, well, you could use the fire or uh, the pink purple one right there. And even if you wanna just like kind of spruce up 
another base or something you've painted. These are my custody bases. Throw, throw a little fire on there. It actually looks really good and super pops well. And then I even took one of their other miniature or their other bases. This is, uh, I think this was their Wasteland base. I want to say this was Wasteland base from Gamer's Grass. And you can see how it comes without the fire tufts. And I threw the fire tufts on there. I used these for my ad mech. And that really pops these bases as well. And yeah, you, if you say you don't like it, you can just pull them right off. They actually stick on pretty well. I was, I was surprised, but they did pull the paint off just to give you an idea of, uh, you know, how well they stick to it right there. So just be aware that either way, uh, they're going to probably stick on there because that's the way they actually make their uh, pre-painted uh, bases that we've showed you some here on the channel. We just showed you these uh, temple ones, which look good. I'm not sure what color would pop those, but uh, we do have some of those here as well. So, uh, you know, mix and match kind of you can get a couple of different sets and kind of make them look however you want, depending on which army or which uh, paint jobs you're doing at the time. But, you know, something like this should give you an idea of which ones look uh, right over light and dark. And, you know, obviously, if you're going to put turquoise over blue, it's probably not going to look as well right there. But overall, I'm super impressed with them. I think the price point is good. I think the availability is good. Uh, and, you know, you definitely can't go wrong with adding a little bit more color to your bases. Bases are secretly easy to make the rest of your paint job look good, depending, you know, how, how you're feeling about that right there. So you can take a, a mediocre in your mind paint job and make it look 100 times better with a really good looking base. So that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching our review of the Gamers Grass new Alien Tusk. Make sure to head over to GamersGrass.com or to hit that store locator. Maybe there's a, a store near you that you can actually look at them in person before you buy. And make sure you hit that subscribe button to turn on notifications. So be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.